Welcome to tutorial number 169. In this tutorial, we will talk about another approach in creating sheet metal parts. At this moment, we are familiar with most of the sheet metal commands. And now we will talk about the convert to sheet metal. That will make it clear which way will be, for example, easier. For example, if we would like to make such chip so we can do it with the base flange approach and the rest of the commands or there is another way shorter way convert to sheet metal so one of the advantages of the convert to sheet metal that you can implement the solid features for creating sheet metal Parts. So we will make this shape and see how we will do it and then have a look at the convert to sheet metal options, fix it face, then rip edges and we will see another example how to use the rib sketches. Also one another advantage of using the convert to sheet metal feature that you can convert more complicated shapes to sheet metal which can be easier to be done by the solid feature so let's start a new part um, pick top plane select hexagonal and define it Sixty five and extrude it to fifty with twenty five draft angle. Click OK. Now mirror this part, mirror, select this face, bodies. Okay, so we made this shape in two steps, and let's see how to convert it into a sheet metal part. So go to the convert to sheet metal, and here you will get the convert to sheet metal option. Use gauge table, we already talked about it, we'll keep it to the default, and let's assume that. We will have a base flange. We will pick the base face over there. The thickness of the sheet metal, we will keep it 0.5 millimeter. And reverse the thickness, we will see now when we will start selecting the bend edges. So let's assume that is the base flange over there and the edges around are the bent edges so you can select the bent edges directly over there and you will notice the color is the pink color and the purple color represent the rib edges there are other options let's just click ok for now because we selected only these edges, so the works converted only the down part into a sheet metal part. And you can flatten this part. So if you would like to do the same process and direct approach, the base flange, you will need to create hexagonal diagonal and then you will make an edge flange then edit the sketch and it will be like more steps to do this and if you would like to make the whole body it will take longer time so let's go back to convert to sheet metal option and here we have the rib sketches we will talk about it in the second example and here are the corner defaults 
if you can look over there so depending on the requirements you can decide i will keep it open and the gap you can make it one millimeter and also the overlapping gap and auto relief you can make it rectangular we talked about it before and here if you click reverse thickness you will get the thickness inside so i will check the reverse thickness and if you look over there you have the default pend radius one millimeter you can override the value for example you can make it three five so i will keep it 0.5 so we took it about the bending radius before so when you are done or before that you are able also to change the radius directly on the shape if you notice over there you have the radius for example you can make this radius to be three millimeter or 0.5 millimeter and the gap as well you can change it change the type of the gap and the gap width you can make it two millimeter I will keep it to the default now let's continue selecting the rest of the bendings if you go to the bend edges and select the bend over there and this edge And let's close upper edge so now when you are done click ok so you notice that some of the walls converted this shape directly into a sheet metal in few clicks now let's see how to use the rip sketches for that we'll make first uh, simple part start a new part and pick the plane we'll make simple cube and extrude it 100 millimeter this time I will add a shell this add shell of 1 millimeter ok go to sheet metal and let's first make a sketch for the rib select this face and make a center line for there so this sketch will be used for the rib now go to sheet metal convert to sheet metal and as you notice we don't have the base select let's say let's select this face and the thickness 0.5 and the radius bend radius is 0.5 and this take the bend edges 
you can see in the preview the shape of the sheet metal part. Select this edge and also select this edge. So you'll see that we have the opening, the rib edges over there, but we would like to modify it to have it to have the rib in the middle. So go to rib sketches and pick this sketch. You will notice that we got the rib on that side. So let's also add another bend edge over there. So we'll have the whole face closed. And when you are done, click OK. So you notice that we got the rib in the middle of that face. You can flatten and have a look at the part. So let's back to the main example and try to make a rib over there. So let's roll back and start a sketch over here. normal and make a line in the center exit and do it forward and edit the convert sheet metal hair drip sketches at this sketch You see the opening grip there. This is just your selection, and to make it easier, let's uncheck this part. So we have now the top face is open. Select grip sketch. And now in the bending edges slip this bend and this bend edge. So this is how I would like to see this box. So when you are done, click OK. So and here you have the ribbit sketch to make the opening in the middle of the tip face. Let's flatten and here is the flatten part and if you would like to make this sheet metal part with the base flange and basic commands you can imagine how longer time it will take.